So, for those of you who don't know, I kind of like the Ottawa Senators. Maybe just a bit. Um, I don't know, they're just my team. I have bandwagoned on the St. Louis Blues. I've been a very loyal bandwagon on the St. Louis Blues. And um, they're definitely in a better position than Ottawa is right now. Um, Ottawa is kind of fucked. Um, I don't know the terms to use. So it all started last year where Alfredson decided Detroit had a very good cup chance. That worked out well. But, I mean, Detroit's in a... We, we don't know what's going to go with, on with Detroit, but they're definitely in a better position than Ottawa. So after Alfredson left, we someone thought it would be a great idea to bring Bobby Ryan. I don't know. But um, I love Bobby Ryan. I think he's a fantastic player. I have no complaints, but we gave up Jacob Silverberg, who was one of my favorite players like in the NHL, and that disappoints me. Gave up a bunch of, um, sc not scrubs, but you know what I mean, like 20-ish year olds who probably won't pan out into anything, or they'll be the next Gretzky. With our luck, they'll be the next Gretzky. And a first-round pick, and we thought, hey, what's the big deal? First-round pick for 2014? Sure, let's do it. It's gonna be a great team with Bobby Ryan. Yeah, cup contender number one. Yeah, not not quite. Um, I guess we fell a bit short of the playoffs. And that pick has turned into the 10th overall pick. I'm not going to suggest losing a 2014 first-round pick is the worst thing in the world for a few reasons, okay? So, 2014 is kind of sandwiched, okay? 2013 was a very great draft class with McKinnon, Juan. Barkov, uh, Monahan, who's a who's a former Ottawa 67, so I know Monahan very very well. Um, just and the depth of 2013 was just unbelievable. And then 2015, 2013. I'm sorry, I think I said 2014. Uh, maybe I didn't. Okay, 2015 is also going to probably be the best class we've seen since 2003. Like I I know people are saying, oh, you're getting ahead of yourself. I probably am, but um, McDavid is the next Crosby. He, I would argue, if he doesn't become like a historical bust, I'd argue he'll be better than Crosby when it's all said and done. I mean, I'm sorry, Crosby. I have him right here, but I'm sorry. But he's not going to be as good as Gretzky because there's going to be no second coming of Gretzky. It's impossible. No one will ever be able to score 200 points in a season with how much the game has changed, alright? It just, it just ain't gonna happen. There's no player that'll ever reach the heights of Gretzky. But, um, McDavid is the next Crosby, possibly better. I mean, so that's, and it has a bunch of already known stars, such as frickin' the, what's his name, the American defenseman. He's gonna be in 2015. Anyway, so 2014's like the ugly stepsister. Okay, it has some good players. It has depth. It has some wow. I mean, my throat just dry. Um, I mean, <laughs> Aaron Ekblad's gonna be pretty good. Uh, uh, this is all assuming they don't bust. Sam Reinhardt. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but freaking uh, yeah, it's gonna be an okay class, but it's not gonna be nearly as good as 2013, 2015. I'm glad we didn't give up our 2015 pick, or I'm no longer an Ottawa, Ottawa Senators, Ottawa Wawa, Senators fan. Um, but this is, this is, so that's the first thing, we're lacking a possibly very good pick. I mean, when we tanked at the halfway point of the season, particularly in March, I would have been totally happy had we retained our 2014 pick. But of course, we brought in Bobby Ryan, who's... It was Bobby Ryan, I mean, <laughs> c'est la vie, but we, I think it's hard to call Bobby Ryan not a disappointment at this point. People like to say, oh, he's so great, he had a good season, and I'm not putting the blame on him, but I think it'd be unfair to say we weren't expecting more. The fans were expecting more. I think he was expecting more. The fact that he got snubbed for the um, 2014 U.S. Olympic team is just unbelievable, though, that Brian Burke's just an idiot. Um, but anyways, moving on, we're also, Spezza, I mean, he's the biggest off-season rumor, and I wouldn't be opposed to training Spezza, however, 
what are, what are we going to get for him, okay? If Spezza is our best forward, I mean, plain and simple, you can't deny this. He's one of the most underrated players in the world, if not the most. Even though he's playing in a Canadian market, he's so grossly underrated, I don't... I would understand why he wants to be traded. I would demand a trade. I mean, he's an NHL point per gamer. He's He's been, like, a cornerstone of the Ottawa franchise since pretty much the day he's been drafted uh, second overall. I mean, and just people always blaming Spezza. Like, oh, bad leadership. Oh, not scoring enough goals. Oh, losing face-offs. He's the best. He's one of the best face-off men for the Face off man in the league. I'm sorry, I choked a bit. He's always being outshone by Albertson, who's no longer here. But people just forget about Spezza, and it makes me a bit upset because he's such a fantastic player. And so, supposedly, he will be going to St. Louis or Anaheim. Uh, I mean, what the best case scenario is we get from Anaheim, first of all. The first big thing we have to decide, if we trade away our best forward, are we going into a rebuild? Or a retool, which is like a short version of a rebuild. Or are we going to get more contending pieces from said team and compete for be a playoff contender or, best case scenario, a cup contender, which I find highly unlikely with the roster and the defense we have now, but I'll touch on that later. And, like, are we... Who are we going to get from Anaheim? We're not getting Lin Lindholm. We're not getting Lindholm, no way. We could get Palmieri, Bunny, or fucking Bunny. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, fuck. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Stupid French people. Uh, just who? And then St. Louis has the same sort of case. We're not getting, we're not getting anyone in their top six. We're not getting Schwartz. We're not getting Tarasenko. Don't even talk about getting Tarasenko, okay? Let's be realistic here, okay? And Anaheim and St. Louis are both going to be contending teams for the next, I'd say, five years. So the picks are going to be pretty much useless for the 2015 draft. I'd say they'd be um, 20th to 30th picks. So it's not like the picks are going to be super valuable to us. And uh, it's a troubling situation. And also, to complicate matters, well, not really complicate matters, Spezza does not want to go to a Canadian team. And people say, oh, conspiracy! He's a secret American, he's an undercover American. Conspiracy! No, no. The Canadian teams suck ass right now, besides Montreal. And because I'm a, I'm a Sens fan, I freaking hate Montreal, so they're terrible as well. Oh god, what was I talking about? Yeah, Spezza, okay, so... I'm sorry, I thought I heard something. Spezza has a troubling situation on his own, and... I wouldn't be opposed to keeping him from the... Tr to the trade deadline. And, yeah. Because I feel he would have more value. And trading him at the draft or rushing him out, just... I don't, I don't think it'll work out good. But the most troubling situation is... The defense, okay... Look at our defense. Okay, here, here's what we got. We got Carlson, who's the best defenseman in the league. I'm sorry, but he is the best offensive defenseman in the league. He's one of the best offensive players in the league, and his defensive game is going leaps and bounds. And every year, he's making less turnovers. Well, he's like first in turnovers and first in giveaways. Or not giveaways, takeaways. First in giveaways, first in takeaways most years, which is pretty bad, but, I mean, whatever, and, so, Carlson's gonna be okay, but then who do we got? We got Mothot, we got Phillips, who's gonna be retiring in, like, one, two years, and who's losing his edge, if he even had an edge to begin with, okay, so, Phillips, useless, Mothot cannot skate, useless, okay, Cowan is terrible, useless, okay, and Con... I'm sorry, Contras, I think. Uh, CC is, like, 20, 21. Um, yeah. Rushing him into a top two or top four role. He handled it all very well, but you can't ex expect a 21-year-old or a 20-year-old to jump... He's 20, actually. To jump into a top two role on a, com on a competing NHL team. That's just ridiculous in itself. And... But we don't, I don't think we have any other choices. As for free agency, 
Um, assuming we get rid of Spezza and do not get a number one defenseman in return, here's here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping we do not go for Richards. Do not go for Brad Richards. Stay away. Avoid. Snub. Don't talk to. Don't even try Brad Richards, okay? He, New York made the mistake, and he was playing in their fourth line, making $7 million a year, so it's all good. But, um, here's what we need. We need to go for Paul Stastny, who is officially testing free agent, the free agency market with, um, without Colorado, rather. <laughs> he would be a good fit. We could also get Garbo, or Garb, Garb's, fucking, the, 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 sent the, bur, Bella, the center from Belarus that played for Toronto and now plays for Washington and is terrible. He actually had a pretty impressive year though, so I don't, I don't, I don't. He was playing with Ovechkin and Backstrom, so I guess you could make that argument. But he had a pretty good year on a non-playoff team, and also Clark MacArthur, who's probably our second best forward and will be our best forward once um we get off. Let's see, Spets out of here. So, him and Garbo, since they played together in Toronto, would be good. And add that with either Taurus or Ryan. So, um, MacArthur, Garbo, Taurus or Ryan. Probably Ryan. And then Taurus, another very good center, who was selected to Team Canada. This year, not the Olympic Team Canada. The um, IIHF. IIHF. Such a dumb name. And was the assistant captain, so good on, good on Taurus. But, all right. And other than that, the future looks very, very grim. Another thing we're talking about potentially doing is having Curtis Lazar, who was with the Edmonton Oil Kings this year, and won the Memorial Cup, and was an absolute star. And you could possibly rush him into the second line or third line role in the NHL. But why would you? I mean, he can spend another year in the, the WHL try to repeat um, the more we rush him, the slower, the more he's going to lag behind, and just the worst case scenario is trying to rush him. And then we also have McCulloch, who is another interesting case. The, we could, we could, we really need to trade him. Um, he had a terrible, terrible year, so I'm not sure what we'd get from him. I'd say a second and a depth player, I would take that, or um, a top six defenseman. I would take that without hesitation. Even a third and a top six defenseman, I would take that without hesitation. That would be amazing. But unfortunately, that's probably not going to be the case because the Ottawa Senators are terrible. I'll see you guys later.